Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Welcome to day 22 of Hashtag February Jelly. Uh, today I'm going to do the make a little journal up with, uh, this was last year's calendar for anybody that's just joining in and doesn't know. It's last year's calendar that just took to pieces and been painting the pages up. So, uh, yesterday I did this side and after I finished filming, what did I do? I added some more bits of black and that was it, I think, or oh, bits of bubble wrap. But I've decided to have it this side for the cover and I've just been playing about with it. I'm not, I'm not sewing it into the cover, I'm just going to sew the, the pages and then I'm just having it like, um, you know, where you can elastic round where you can take it out take the signature out and i want it i've left all this on it's ripped in places oh and i've just been round the edge with some black paint as well just to finish it off and i also think at some point in the future not today i'm not yet or i might write february jelly february jelly blah, 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 february jelly 2021 on it that I might put um, die cut some letters out but that will be in the future so yes that's what I think I'm gonna do oh damn it and I was gonna get a, a closure a tie to put round and I've forgotten and I don't want to stop the video oh well you'll just have to imagine that <laughs> that there's gonna be a tie round there uh, so what these were the rest of yesterday's. I don't think I've did any more to these. Just oh, that one. Just got used the black paint up. Um, yes. Yeah, so I've just been playing with the papers. I've uh, got my needle, and I've because I've left all the where you pull it off the spiral thing. I've left all those on just because I like that. I could have cut them off, but I like I like that. So I've alternated it. So we've got a frillia plane, a frillia plane, etc. Like that, just having one signature. So there's 12 pages there, 12 sheets. I've got my paper clips. I know I did a, a journal in the last series, but I've got some new people following this time so anybody that doesn't want to watch you don't have to watch do you if you've already seen this sort of thing but I'm just gonna clip that top and bottom just on one side uh, as I said in the other one I know lots of you already know how to do these I'm no professional a lot of people get a book like a thick, um, well, it doesn't really matter what book, but a book and open it out and then put that in it to, so that when you use your pokey tool, you're pushing into something. But I'm just going to do it freehand. Or, oh, no, I will rephrase that. I'm going to attempt just to do it <laughs> without that. I've not even got my self-healing mat anywhere so obviously you want some sort of a pokey tool and just mind your fingers and I'm going to go in the middle I'm not measuring it keep my fingers out of the way can you see see it is easier if you have a book because you can just go down like that I haven't got anything that I can use I don't think no I haven't because there's quite a lot of paper here Can instantly see I haven't even gone in the middle there. <laughs> oh dear me, never mind, eh? There we go. I'm going to use some baker's twine today. So I've just found it. So we've got a hole in the middle there. And just about an inch from the top. And for anybody that doesn't know, just let me get my fingers out of the way. This is called... A three hole pamphlet stitch people do five but I've never done the five get my fingers out of the way because that would 
seriously hurt. <laughs> that one, and then just turn it round, do one at the other end, just about an inch. You can measure it if you want to be more precise. I, I don't do precise. All I would say is just make sure your fingers are out the way. There. Oh. Where's that just come from? I don't know. And I just keep my little pokey tool in a polystyrene ball. So we've got the three holes. Now the thread uh, this is say this is baker's twine crochet cotton dental floss good strong thread and well I've got way too much here but uh they say sort of two and a half to three lengths it's just over three there but and if you want the tie in the middle then start inside your book if you want your tie on the outside start on the outside of your book so I'm just going to I can't even see where they put the hole it's there look I'm just going to go through the hole keep hold of that and then we're gonna go top or bottom it doesn't matter Through there and that's gone straight through for me thank you very much I always thank it when it does that because <laughs> sometimes it's a bit tricky like that look so we've gone through the middle down down or up to one of the other ones and then can we see look so through that way to one of the other holes top or bottom doesn't matter which way and then straight down there into the last hole and out through the other side oh haven't I been lucky don't speak too soon because this is probably where it's going to all go school with oh, what have I done there there we go right so you've got your your first tassel there, out through there, up there, through to that one. Right, and then this is the tricky bit really, because when you go back through this one, you need to try and make sure you don't get the needle in the thread to split the threads, because it is a bit tricky. And when you've come back through you want one of these one side and one the other but we'll just see if we can sorry i've got this up to my nose now oh look at that it's gone straight through how lucky am i so that's gone straight through there and it's come out the side that i wanted it heck things are going smoothly Right, I shall take, see what I mean about I've got way too much thread. But that's better than not enough. So you want one each side. Just give it a little tug. Just make sure that it's nice and tight. You don't want to tug it too much, especially if you've got thin paper. This isn't thin paper, but... Obviously, having the paint on strengthen it strengthens it. Now I just go left over right and under. Way too much. Way too much. <laughs> and then right over left and under. And that should be enough and then you can just snip it off there if you want to or I sometimes just leave mine sometimes I'll put beads on the bottom or something and take those off and that's your little 
booklet there ever so easy ever so ever so easy um say so with my other one that i did i sewed it straight into there but this one i'm just going to use elastic right i have the way yeah I have to say I have been playing about with it um, uh, another reason why I've left those on is you see look it is they're not level that doesn't bother me um, I, I've seen a lot of people you know we're all different aren't we some people couldn't cope with that having all those pages uneven I couldn't cope with <laughs> then going in, flattening it out and trimming it all off. I mean, I've seen people and I'm not dissing anybody because it's all, you know, they like more precise, professional, don't know whether that's the right word, uh, work. But that's not me. But, you know, they'll go in with the knife and the ruler and to get them all straight and that's fair enough if that's what if that's what you like then you do that do it to how you like it you know we, we all adapt things to how we like them I think I was actually thinking of having it that way was I yeah, with the hearts, those hearts at the front, I think. I think that's what I was going to do. So, right, um, so I've got some elastic. I think this bit will do. This, I, I get this, or I got this, not been for oh, over a year, 18 months or something, I don't think, from Tiger Shop. You can get it, obviously, on eBay and that. And this, the one I use... I've never used a thicker one just purely because this is what they got is one millimeter and there's on this thing there's two pieces of three meters so you get six meters and I think it's 99 pence or something and and they have some lovely colors I think this piece will do so that's all I'm gonna do Ooh. Yeah, it will. It'll be all right. Just pop that back in there just to make sure, but I think it will. Yeah. So what is that? That is... Oh, double. About double the length of whatever you're doing. That was, that was lucky just having that piece left. I can take that out now, pull that in later. I'm just going to do the same again. Bit of tug. Right. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. And I would probably do that again, but... go it has annoyed me that I've forgotten to bring something to wrap around there I don't want to put a popper on it I've got the plastic poppers I don't want to do that on this I just thought I would just tie it with some whatever I'll tell you what I have done at some times don't tell, will you? Don't tell that I'm cutting cellophane with my fabric scissors. And that's the first time I've ever cut something other than fabric with my fabric scissors. What I have done sometimes on my, well, and lots of times on my journals, is use elastic. And I can't do it now because I haven't got any at hand. But thread a button on. Yeah, I might just do that. 
for a closure but for now I'm just going to tie it in a knot and then untie it again so I'll probably show you that in another video if I decide to do that but that's all right like that um, right so let me undo that because what I will do is actually put that elastic through that elastic and then when you undo it or take it off it's still attached to your book you understand that <laughs> there yeah and I have also I've put beads beads on there there's all sorts you can do say thread a button on put beads on just I need more than one knot um, you know just use twine or not twine well yeah twine if you want eyelash trim anything any sort of thing to wrap around here I'm just looking around my craft room and I haven't got anything at hand but anyway that's today's video not too bad is it 16 minutes uh, I think for this one I'm probably just going to cut those off I don't do matching colours do I <laughs> there So that's that and then if I want to work on these it's just easy to take out and oh yeah I could even turn this round the other way if I wanted to I might go over it at some point with some no that's not the word with some I was going to say gesso hmm, that would spoil it with some mod podge that's the word that's the word Oh, well, I'm pretty pleased with this. If I get it done in the next video or another video, I will show you if I've put the button on or whatever I've decided. OK, then, thank you very much for watching. Wasn't sure whether I was ever going to get this calendar thing done. Yeah, I mean, you could even, have I just said that, you could even put thread beads on there. I've done that before as well. <coughs> there so, and you could put beads on, oh, I might do that. You could put beads, little seed beads on your elastic if it would go through. No, I won't. I've got plenty of other things to do. <laughs> There's not enough hours in the day. Come on, people, we need more hours in our day, don't we? <laughs> Oh Lord. Yes, right, enough twaddle. Take care everyone. Thank you again for watching and for all your support. And I'm still behind with very behind. Um time of recording this. I did watch a few videos last night. Um but as for answering comments, oh god, I'm really behind. I need have a two or three hours i think of just sitting down answering comments and getting them done anyway just before i go tomorrow's video oh i've been using a different paint that i've found in my stash and i say in my stash it's actually sits to the right of me all the time and i forget it's there and i, I just wanted a day of um just playing without putting the camera on basically so that's what I've been doing but then I will come on and do another video showing you these other paints anyway take care thanks for watching and speak to you tomorrow <laughs> bye and I've actually just realized that I didn't even do a, a complete flip through of the book did I <laughs> <laughs> I know you've seen them before but I always think they look so different when they're folded <laughs> so <laughs> oh dear one day I'll get it right yeah these these all of these paints as far as I remember um, were the dilutions 
Dilusions paints. Shall I hold it up a bit for you, look? We did over several days. Lovely textures. That's the. I think probably that's not dilutions because there's like oh, quite a lot of texture going on there. The dilutions tend to be. I suppose it depends how much you put on. Really, I was going to say tend to be smoother. You don't feel them on your page as much. But I was putting too much on. Yeah, I, I've just said that they're all dilutions, and actually, I don't think they are. Just take anything I say with a pinch of salt. <laughs> anything I say <laughs> or do, it's all subject to change, okay? <laughs> oh dear. You've got to laugh. Now I mustn't forget to stitch these two little clips together. Oh, I'm such a numb. Oh, look at that, a bit of dendritic going on there. Can you see that? Oh, poor little butterfly's lost its wing. Yes, I just thought... I didn't even show them a flip through of it. Somebody's bound to say, well, you didn't show us. <laughs> right, and that is it. Thank you very much. Speak to you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.